zero, zero, zero. Hello and welcome to this special edition of SciShow News. Go. Falcom. Go. Jinsei. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom work. Go for undocking. Zero, 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 nine or eight. Neil Armstrong was born on his grandparents' farm in Ohio in 1930, when air travel was still in its infancy. Almost a quarter of a million miles away, the moon came much closer that summer night because of Neil Armstrong's famous first step. Neil Armstrong started his career as a Navy pilot, but unlike many of his pilot colleagues, he then went on to get an engineering degree. This knowledge would be extremely useful as Armstrong started his career as a test pilot for top secret aircraft. Zero, zero, five, seven, two. Parity, one, zero, zero, zero. We've been particularly pleased with the emblem of our flight, depicting the U.S. Eagle, bringing the universal symbol of peace from the Earth, from the planet Earth, to the moon. Neil Armstrong died this morning of complications after a medical procedure. But this isn't about whose footprints are where. This is about what a world accomplished. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one we intend to win. And we see you on a stereo over. Through this training and his love of science and math and exploration, his path took him to NASA and eventually to the moon. Apollo went into orbit around the moon. The journey that had taken the lifetime of mankind was nearing its crucial moment. Oh, Apollo 11, Houston, we wondered if uh, you started into the lamb yet over. Armstrong, over a cast of thousands of potential candidates, was selected to be the first man on the moon because people knew that he would become a symbol, and they wanted a man who had been many things, and yet remained even-tempered, level-headed, and with a substantially smaller ego than many of his colleagues. And so we dedicate this new building, this magnificent new building, but by itself it cannot impart knowledge. It requires people provide that function. Innovative faculty, skilled staff, curious and determined students to produce those graduates who, with their classmates across the engineering campus, will sally forth and provide a host of societal advances. Create what he can. Armstrong, they knew, would understand that this wasn't something he had done, but instead, something we had done. I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards, but could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The earth is quite beautiful from space, uh, and from the moon, it looks quite small and quite remote, but uh, it's very blue and covered with uh, white lace <laughs> of the clouds, and the continents are clearly seen, although they have very little color from that distance. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. 
there are places to go beyond belief. And likewise, the seeds of his courage and character were born here at Purdue during those college days as it is now being done with these students. And so as we unveil the statue today and dedicate this magnificent Neil Armstrong Hall of Engineering tomorrow, as we celebrate these space heroes, we are also celebrating in a very real way Airman from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon. It came in peace for all mankind. He was a symbol of what we can do when we work together toward a common goal. He was a symbol of the power of America, of science, of engineering, and of the unity of mankind. History is a sequence of random events and unpredictable choices, which is why the future is so difficult to foresee. But you can try. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.